Fundamentally, I think the systems thinking and the, the sort of meta systemic perspective, the ability to shift perspectives, um, uh, allows us to understand how things work better and navigate better in the world. We talk sometimes about six elements of dark matter of organizational life. Um, uh, you know, so, so, so I say that um, if you don't understand um, how measures dis affect organizational behavior, mm -hmm. then you be pulled by your de facto measures away from your true organizational purpose. If you don't understand the viable systems model, the core to me, very essential underlying organizational logic, mm -hmm. then you won't see where you're going wrong in multiple um, dimensions. If you don't understand the role that leaders play in shaping culture, positively or negatively, productively or non-productively, then you'll be doing it accidentally, for good or for ill. Yeah. Um, if you don't understand the dynamics of um, human um, relationships as soon as people are in organizational life and they're trying to share and allocate responsibilities between people a core problem for every uh, management system ever hmm. then will fall into all the dysfunctions and falling out of partnership that Barry Oshry so beautifully observes the final two are if you don't understand the dynamics of cultures interacting um, then you will be thrown out of partnership by those dynamics overwhelming everything else and if you don't understand and this is where I stole the dark matter concept from Patrick Hovestat and his patterns of strategy, organizations are structurally coupled to their environment. So they will evolve in and into and with uh, locking with their environment. Yeah. And that might be fine and it might be bad. Like all of these dark matter patterns, they're all operating all the time, whether you like it or not. But if you can see them, then you can make intentional decisions.